Well, hello there. We're back here in Georgetown. I'm Mighty Mike, and this is my survival challenge. Got the uh, yard tidied up here. Trying to keep things a little bit orderly. Been busy. Do have a couple of implements loaded up here. We're going to be taking those to sell at the shop. This little stump grinder here is just giving me some fits. Uh, it seems like every other stump or so, it just does not want to grind it. So I'm going to try something different. See if it can't be a little bit more efficient. And then this log fork, which I had on the front loader of the tractor, taking it up to the shop. You'll see why here in a little bit. So I've started a little pile of logs down here. Just been toting logs down, getting them log, uh, stacked up here in a central location. The grass is trying to come back here. Uh, let's just bump up here in the air here. Let's take a little bit of a look of the landscape. Come up here, you can see the elevation, you know, it changes quite a bit. So let's fly up here. So I have taken down a few more trees. I have some random pieces there laid uh, by some trees that I need to pick up. I have a nice stack up here that I need to collect as well. And then on around over here, you can see... I have quite a few more logs stacked up that I need to load up and take off to sell. I've just been cutting and just stacking them up, leaving them there. I have taken a few loads off. You can see I'm up over $100,000. But unfortunately, that will go really quick. So as of right now, this is one area I do have cleared out. I do need to get rid of some of these stumps. Uh, and as you can tell, if we come up this way, let's come up this way just a little bit. It's really not much flat land. Uh, if we come on down through here, you can tell it drops off really steeply down that side of the hill. I could come back this way a little bit. You can see it's fairly flat through here. So I still haven't decided if I want to continue expanding this field or not. Uh, we'll have to see how things go. Oh, and there's a uh, shallow rooted tree, I guess. <laughs> and we're going to come back down here. We'll just fly around the yard here. And take a look at this other area. Now this is back here beside the silage pit that I put in. You can see I have cleared out some of the loggable trees. And then we had a couple of the uh, oak trees over here that I took down. You can see I have a lumber pallet, a firewood pallet sitting here. It's almost full. But this area through here is actually pretty flat. Well, as flat as it can be back here. But then if we come around this way, fairly flat through here, then it drops off. It kind of flat back up this way. So I've uh, just been working my way in over here. Uh, this, lock, this tree cutter works fantastic. So that I've, that's been a really good purchase. I just drag the trees back to a pile and just cut them all up in one pile and uh, leave them there. I'm uh, thinking about going ahead and taking out uh, these three, four maybe right here. These four trees. And that'll uh, give me a little bit of extra area over here. I'll, I'll have to cut most of those up into firewood. And then this road I uh, don't really need so I'll probably plow most of it under. It's trying to maximize the area where it is flat. So we'll tr jump over here in the truck. I'm going to go on down to the shop. Because today, I hope we can finally break some ground in our fields. 
Uh, if we look at the seasons calendar here, uh, we're currently in the fifth day of summer. I can plant some things. Wheat, barley, oats, or canola. Or spelt rye and alfalfa. So, may we'll try and go ahead and get something planted. So we can be ready for a crop come around next year. So I'm going to take this down to the shop and we'll uh, meet up there and we'll do a little shopping. All right, we're down here at this shop and I'm going to see if I can reach out and grab this thing to get it unloaded. Nope, it's not long enough. I'm going to have to drive up on it, I believe. I'm get up on the trailer here. Should be able to grab it. There we go. Already got the uh, log forks taken off there. All right, we'll set that there. Pull this out of the way. And go sell these items. Give it a little repair and sell it. And sell it. That didn't need repairing for some reason. About 4500 bucks on that. So not a whole lot. So what I want to do... I have a lot of logging to do and the log forks for that tractor would only pick up one log at a time with a clamp uh, and if I use the straps the thing went nuts so I don't know what was going on with it I don't know if it was a weight thing maybe it was just too much weight for what it was designed to do so I am going to actually buy a new piece of equipment saw this here and it has plenty of weight and the nice thing is I can actually get a plow attachment for the back so since we are using in the woods we'll get forestry and of course we need a warning triangle so I think I'm just going to go with this safety orange with the black tracks I think that looks pretty good $59,800 All right, so I am going to also get a couple of attachments. I am going to try this log fork again. Now, I believe this one is bigger. I don't know what orange that is. I think that's close enough. And then also, we're going to get a plow. But wait, we're not done yet. Since the stump grinder didn't work out well, I am going to get a new stump grinder. And this machine actually has an attachment somewhere. Let's search by this way here. Here we go. Get it to match as well. What is that? Oh, that'll cut the trees. I don't think we... That does look super cool, though. Yeah. We don't... We don't need it to grind up the trees. 
unless we decide to grind up some trees. I want to get it. Why not? If nothing else, just for the cool factor. So there are some other options for this machine. Uh, we could get uh, some uh, clamp uh, brush log forks here. It also has a silage fork, a bucket. So, and there's also a weight if we were to need that. But I believe this will be a good start. And this log fork, I believe, is actually bigger than the last one. So hopefully this works out a little better. Uh, if it doesn't, I guess I can always come and uh, get the forks that go with this machine. So I'm going to put these forks up on the trailer. Ooh, that barely fits. I'm going to set the set these up here so that they can get strapped in. Oh, let me pick up the front there. And then we'll grab this grinder here. I wonder, should I back in? Let's see if this thing will fit. Ooh, well, I don't think that's going to work. Let's see. Let's see if it'll work. Can I put down the plow? Well, that's that's not good. Maybe we can strap this stuff in here. Two implements, so it looks like it got everything. Let's hop back up in here. Oh, actually, let's fold up the trailer. Okay, so that should ride there. We'll turn it off. Pretty big upgrade. Let's head back to the farm. Alright, we'll get this thing unloaded here. We'll run up here. Oh, that thing moves quick. Let's go ahead and get some of these stumps ground out. See how well this works. Oh, wow. It just it's gone. That is much better. Oh gone. Boom. And look how fast it moves. 12 miles an hour. Oops, did I miss it? Yep, it's gone. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's just get these little pieces going here. Instead of having to fool with those. Gone. That's great. Oh, there's a stump there. It's kind of hard to see them in this short, in this longer grass. But they just disappear, bloop, that fast. Aha, that is great. I'm so glad I... Just for the stump grinding. much more efficient. Well, I can't see anything from the front. From the inside view. So just out of curiosity, I know this would be a little bit wasteful on the lumber. But I wonder if this would just grind these trees out Take this one out right here, see what happens. Oh, 
Uh, it's not not liking that for some reason. Well, there we go. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Does this take out the flowers? Nope. And I wonder if it'll take out the bushes. It does not. Well, that's okay. Wow, that went really, really quick. I'm going to run on over here since I have this hooked up. And we'll get these stumps on this side taken care of. Alright, so we're over here now on this other little area. I'm going to grab these stumps around here. It just You just don't even have to stop. Just run over them and they disappear. Gone. Alright. I had already got most of these over here. I don't think there were many left. I think that's all of them. Oh, I did miss one. Well, that is really, really cool. So I wonder, are there any trees? I could just grind these things out. I'm going to grind these two out right here. I know I'm going to lose out on some money. But... It'll just open it up. Really easy. I don't want to stop. I just want to keep grinding. Alright. I'm going to stop there. Bring this back over here to... Around the house. And then we'll load up... We'll hook up the grapple and see how that works. All right, well now let's come up here. Actually, before I do that, let me just close up the trailer and we'll put the log poles up. Let's go ahead and bring it up here to this one wood pile and uh, we'll see how it works out. It's a new toy, I have to check it all out see how it's working I should have compared these log forks I'm not I'm not sure if these are much bigger than the other ones I can't tell it's hard to uh, tell when they're not side by side let's uh, see what happens here oh they yeah they're much bigger gotta be let's see what we can pick up here not that much Still trying to grab the whole pile. Let's see if we can get these picked up enough. There we go. Oh, we're still getting... Oh, that's just that one there. Let's see if we can let that fall off. So yeah, we're picking up quite a few more logs. Now, of course, these are not even. I think it'll still go on the trailer and ride. And it maneuvers so much easier because I can just spin around versus the tractor. And I'll tell you, I am not real impressed with the Fiat Agri. It does not want to climb these hills. It has 100 horsepower, but even completely unloaded with no logs or anything like that it kind of struggles going up these hills so I'm not sure 
What do I want to do with that thing? I, I don't know if it's going to work out. I hate to keep changing tractors, but I think I'm realizing that horsepower is going to be critical in this hilly environment. Oh, I'll probably need to overpower my tractors in relation to the equipment I'm running just to let them perform reasonably well in these hills. I do have to say these log forks are performing much better than the last ones. I think it must have just been some kind of weight issue trying to pick up these logs with the lighter weight forks. It just did not like it. I know this this load is kind of a mess. This stack was not done very well. I had quite a few pushed up here into this pile. The only complaint that I have is it would be nice if this loader went up just a little bit higher. But other than that, I am extremely pleased with the way this is performing. See if we can just jiggle these down just a little bit. Settle down the gaps, that works out. We'll grab this rogue log here. Oh, oh, oh don't go between the forks. Oh, shoot. I did not anticipate this being a logging series and I don't want to make it into one but unfortunately running with seasons and not having any farmland to begin with it is uh, necessary at this point But it has been kind of interesting using some different equipment that I just normally don't use. But I promise we'll be getting into some uh, far farming here soon. Uh, maybe even this episode. Alright, so let's get this truck out of the way here. Is it going to pull it up the hill? Yeah. And we'll pull this down here. Try not to tip the trailer. We'll shut it down. Alright. So what I think... I'm going to do is go ahead and start plowing some land. So we have this area over here. I do have this stack up here, but I believe it's out of the way. I could if I need to grab it, but we'll uh, see if we can just work around it for right now. So I believe we put this plow down. Uh, there we go. Create new field. And this is it. The start of the new field here in Georgetown. I don't want to get too close to the trees. We'll just outline an odd shape here. May end up taking that tree out. Oh, 
come along the road here. Not too close. We'll leave a little bit between the field and the road. Just so I can get past without damaging any crops. Go around this tree. That one, if it was out, we could uh, swing a little bit wider there at that end. Hopefully I didn't miss any stumps. I guess I will find those with the plow if I did. I'll just follow the contour here around where I have cleared. I won't get too close to that pile. Of, oh, I went, I went up past where I started, but that's okay. We'll just ease around here and connect it up. So one thing that I have not decided yet is, do I turn on precision farming? Uh, currently it is not on, because I wasn't sure if I wanted to run with it. I do know that this map, I believe, has compost available, and that does not work with precision farming. But I do like precision farming, as far as the uh, ease of fertilization. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Should I turn on precision farming or should I not? Uh, the only thing is if I do, I will have to get a soil sample machine, which that's just another load of logs to take off. I could purchase that, no problem. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Precision farming, yes or no? So this uh, plow, I believe, is only three meters, so it's not not very big, but it is doing the trick. And this uh, loader seems to have zero problems with the heels. It doesn't slow down or anything. Oh, I'm missing. And if you've noticed, I have bumped the time up to 5x. I do want to move through the days and the seasons uh, more quickly now. I wanted to start at 15x when I started the series just to keep this thing moving along pretty quick. Uh, but that was just too fast, doing the logging. So I had bumped it down to 1x until I got my feet underneath me with the logging. But now that I have a pretty good start and have some decent equipment to make things move along pretty quick, I have bumped it back up to 5x. I'm gonna leave it at that for a little while, see how things move along. I may have to adjust it a little bit as I play through, depending on how things are going and what I'm doing. But I believe the 5x is going to work out pretty good for now. So this is going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead and get this field done. And then uh, we'll hop back over to the other area and see about making a field over there. All right. First field cut into the side of the mountain here. Looks a lot different from the forest that we started with. I do think there may be a couple trees here like this oak tree. I think I'm going to take that out. And then probably those trees there will get those cut away and then I can square this up just a little bit and then this tree down here I may take out and then bring it over a little bit and then possibly take out uh, these up here in front of us uh, these couple 
and then this one here and then just square this field up just a little little bit more uh, it's not bad uh, definitely workable but we might can just uh, make it just a little bit more uniform and it'll help when we're doing our field work so we'll jump back into the machine here and uh, head over to the other side of the area and see about cutting in a field over here I don't want to get too close to the uh, silage pit over here. Oh, and I need to move that pallet. You know what? I can do that with this, I believe. Hey, hey that works. So I'm actually just going to set this over here in the woods. Uh, I'm going to need it later on. I'll just get it out of the way here. Hopefully I don't forget about it. But what am I stuck on? What in the world? Oh, a stump. There's a stump here. Okay, well I'll need to get that later on. So I want to leave enough room where I can pull in and out of the pit. So I'm thinking maybe about right here somewhere. We'll just start at it. Now this field will be much more irregularly shaped. We're going to come down around here, around this stack of wood. And then come back up this way. I may end up doing some more clearing. Uh, but I do have the winter where I can do a lot more of that. So right now I'm just trying to get a little area then I can go ahead and get some crops in the ground to uh, get an early start on the harvest next year. We'll let this grow over the winter and hopefully be able to either expand some of these fields or uh, cut in some different fields. So as I was talking before, I want I don't have a use for this road. So I'm just gonna plow it up. It's nice level ground. I don't know where that there's a stump. Oh, let's see. I don't want to go too far here. Let's see. I'll turn and we'll connect back up over here. Just a little spot there. All right, well, let me uh, run around this field here. I keep missing spots. We'll get it taken care of. And we'll take a look at the finished product. The only thing with this track is it does turn really, really well. So I have to be careful on those corners. That back end swings around. And I end up missing little spots. All right, I just got this field finished up here. Let's uh, hop up in the air here and take a look at what it looks like. It's not too big. It comes up here and uh, hangs over to the left. Kind of a narrow section over here. I believe I'm going to take this tree out here, get these wood picked up, 
and then maybe clip a couple more of those trees, round this off a bit. But you can see it does go uphill that way, but not super steep. So I believe I'm going to work my way back that way a little bit, maybe over this way. Uh, this field will be very oddly shaped, but I think there's some land around here we can try and get the most out of it. And I may come down here and some of these trees, I'm going to take these out as well. Probably this group here, all of these here, and then some of these down this way. And we'll expand this field over this way just a little bit. So that's going to do it for this episode. Got uh, the first fields cut in. Very pleased with that. But once again, would like your suggestions and input on whether I should enable precision farming. So next episode, we'll probably be doing some lime application and maybe, maybe some seeding. I'll take some loads down to the sawmill between now and the next episode. Try and get some of these uh, log piles cleaned up and out of the way, as well as replenish the funds. We're going to need some money to uh, start buying some uh, seeding and fertilizing equipment. I do appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give me a like. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. I do appreciate each of you for watching. Hope you come back for the next episode. We'll see you soon.